Hello students, welcome to your English lesson. This English lesson is for grade 5 and the topic is at the doctors. My name is Diana Vukadin and I'll be your English teacher. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to name health problems and injuries, to understand the dialogues at the doctors and to give advice. For today's lesson, you'll need a notebook and a pencil, a laptop, a tablet or a mobile phone, internet access and a QR code reader. Please keep in mind that you can pause this video lesson anytime you like or whenever you need time for doing a certain activity. You can work at your own pace. Are you ready? Let's start then. How are you feeling today? Let's have a look at some of the faces. Are you happy? Or maybe surprised? Or are you scared? Maybe excited? Confused? Loved? Sick? Silly? angry or tired? Write the answer in your notebook. How are you feeling today? Let's play with these words for a while. I need you to draw the table like this one in your notebook and put the words from the previous slide into these two columns. Which of them do you find positive and which of them do you find negative? Pause the video and write the answers. Let's compare the answers. Positive, happy, surprised, excited, loved, or silly. Negative, scared, sick, confused, tired, and angry. Can you add one more example in the positive column and one more in the negative one? And this is me. As you can see, I'm really tired. You can say that I'm exhausted. I'll have to go and see a doctor. When you don't feel well, you need to visit a doctor. Let's have a look at these sentences. What do you do first? That's right, you make an appointment. Pause the video lesson now and copy these sentences into your notebook in the correct order. Pause the video lesson now. Let's check your answers. So the first thing is making an appointment. Then seeing the doctor or a nurse. Then describing the symptoms. After that, physical examination. Then getting a prescription, recept. The next one is going to the pharmacy, taking your medicine. And the last one is return visit. Well done. Let's have a look at some of health problems. You'll recognize most of them from the fourth grade. So what does he say? That's right, he says, I have a cold. Excellent work. What about her? Her belly aches. So she says, I have a stomach ache. Well done. This is a new one for you. She says, I feel dizzy. Vrtimise. And usually when you have a cold, you also have 
Arani knows. Great job. Oh, this is a painful one. Ouch. When your tooth hurts, you have a toothache. That's right. Usually, if you have a cold, you can have a fever as well. When your throat hurts, then we say that you have a sore throat. Upala girla. When your head hurts, then you have a headache. Great job. <coughs> if you, <coughs> then you have a cough. And the last one is also a new one for you. If you have a stomachache, very often you feel nauseous. Can you repeat after me? I feel nauseous. That's right. Osjećate mučninu. Great work. Let's have fun with health problems some more. Follow the link bit.ly slash health3 or simply scan the QR code. You'll watch a short video at the doctor's. Your task is to copy into your notebook all the head problems that we have already mentioned. You can stop the video at any point. Have fun! And these are the answers. I have a cold. I have a cough. I have a fever. I have a headache. I have a runny nose. I have a sore throat. I have a stomachache and I have a toothache. Excellent job. You've probably realized that there are two more problems in this video. One is I cut myself and the other one I got my arm broken. And we'll talk about them in a while. Let's play the game. This game is called Who is Who? First, I'll ask you to read the children's symptoms and match them with the health problems. Stop the video now and copy the sentences in your notebook. Let's check your answers. Jan says, I sneeze and have a runny nose. He's got a cold. Vita says, I feel nauseous. He's got a stomachache. Petra says, I feel a pain in my ear. So, she's got an earache. Well done. What about Mia? Mia says, It hurts when I chew food. She's got a toothache. And Lana says, it hurts when I swallow. <laughs> She's got a sore throat. Let's have a look at their pictures now. Here they are. Can you guess who's who? What about the first one? Yes, the one with the runny nose is Jan. Okay. Can you guess which one is Vito? That was easy because there are only two boys. Well done. Which one is Petra? Yes, this is Petra with a earache. And what about Mia? This one is Mia with a toothache. And finally, this is Lana with a sore throat. The next task is accidents and injuries. Nezgode i ozljede. And in this task, I need you to be detectives. You will have to solve two problems. The first one is to crack the code. So have a look at the numbers and at the letters. Pause the video and can you write down what these seven words are? Good luck. Let's check your answers. The first word, bump. The next one, bruise. The third one, scrape. Then we've got sunburn. Cut, burn. And the last one is 
broken leg. Well done, you've passed the first test. What about the second one? Here you go. You've got the pictures. Can you match the pictures and the words? So the first word is a bump. Can you find the picture for a bump? Yes, that's the one. We call it Čvoruga in Croatian. You already know the second one. It's a bruise, modrica. The next one, that's right, scrape, ogrebotina. Sunburn, opekotina od sunca. Cut, posjekotina. Then you've got the burn, careful with the hot water. And you know this one, a broken leg. Great job, my detectives. Let's practice these words some more. I need you to pause the video and copy the sentences in your notebook. Fill the sentences with bruise, burn, cut, break, bump, sunburn or scrape. See you in a while. Okay, so what was the first one? When you get a sunburn, your skin turns red and hurts. I hit my arm hard against the desk and now there is a bruise on my arm. When you are making sandwiches, be careful not to cut yourself with a knife. My father is very tall and he can sometimes bump his head on the door. Stop jumping so much. You'll break your leg. You have to be careful not to burn your hand on the stove. And when you fall off your bike, you can scrape your knee on the sidewalk. So be careful. Do you know what the doctor has got in his bag? Let's find out. Let's open his bag and see what comes out. Okay, the first one is a thermometer. A doctor uses it to measure your temperature. What is the next thing? Medicine. Medicine is something that the doctor gives you to feel better. It can be a pill or a syrup, for example. Oh, you already know this little thingy. It is a plaster. You put it on your cut. Oh, this is a dangerous one. It's called a syringe. And a doctor uses it when he needs to give you injections. Ouch! The next thing is a stethoscope. A doctor uses it to listen to your heart and lungs. Breathe in, breathe out. You already know these. They are scissors used for cutting. Okay, this is a new one for you. It is pronounced gauze. Can you repeat after me, please? Gauze. Yes, it is a similar word in Croatian, Gaza, and you can also put it on your cuts or maybe some other injuries. And if that injury is a little bit more serious one, then you put bandages on. Can you repeat after me? Bandages. That's right, Croatian word is Zavoj. And you already know this one. This is a prescription. The doctor writes what medicine you need on it. Excellent work, everyone. Since you worked all very hard today, I have a game for you. So follow the link bit.ly slash sort9 or scan the QR code and play the game at the doctors. You will have to group the words 
into three different groups, health problems, injuries, and what's inside doctor's bag. Have fun, everyone. Let's read the dialogue at the doctor's. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling well. Where does it hurt? My throat hurts bad and I have a sore throat. Let's take your temperature. You have a slight fever. And I've got a runny nose in the evenings, which makes it difficult for me to breathe when I sleep. Do your muscles ache? Boli vas mišići? A little bit. You've got a cold. Here is a prescription for the cold medicine. Take it twice a day. Anything else? Get plenty of rest and come and see me again next week. Thank you, doctor. Let's answer the questions. What are the patient's symptoms? Do you remember? He has a sore throat and a runny nose. His muscles ache. What does a doctor do? He takes his temperature. What is the doctor's advice? Get plenty of rest and come and see me next week. Well done. There is another dialogue at the doctor's, but as you can see this time, the patient's part is missing. Let's read the dialogue together and put the patient sentences in the correct order. Are you ready? Hello, Jan. What's the matter? I've got a fever and chills. Have you got any other symptoms? Yes, I feel nauseous. Have you got a stomach ache? Yes, I do. It hurts bad. Let me examine your stomach. Does it hurt when I press here? A little bit. You've got the stomach flu. What should I do? You should drink lots of fluids and get plenty of rest. Anything else? You shouldn't eat solid foods till you feel better. Thank you, doctor. Get well soon, Jan. Do you remember the doctor's advice from the dialogue? He tells Jan, you should drink lots of fluids and get plenty of rest. So if you want to advise someone to do something, you use should. The doctor also tells Jan, you shouldn't eat solid foods till you feel better. If you want to advise them not to do something, then you use shouldn't. And let's practice giving advice some more. Circle the right letter. The first problem is, I've got a headache. What do you think? That's right. You shouldn't listen to loud music. Let's do another one. I've got a broken leg. What do you think? A or B? That's right. The correct answer is you shouldn't walk. And the last one. I've got a cold. You should drink warm tea with honey. Great job, everyone. For the end of today's lesson, I have a board game for you. You will flip a coin and move around the board, giving each other advice. Heads means that you move two spaces and tails you move only one space. You can play it online with your classmates or maybe even try it with your siblings. Careful with the shortcut and miss a turn buttons. Have fun! And it's time to check your progress. There are three faces. If you can do all of these things, put a tick next to the first one. If you are almost there, then the second one is for you. And if you still need to work on it, then put a tick next to the last one, to the frowny one. I can name at least five health problems. I can name at least five injuries. I can name what's in a doctor's bag. I can understand the dialogue between a doctor and a patient. And I can give advice using should and shouldn't. Hope you had fun today. See you soon.